Selective herbicides are used when you're wanting to remove unwanted weeds in areas like lawns, particularly of importance for any gardener. They're available in the ready-to-use format or in the concentrated form. The ready-to-use, it simply is as it is. Turn the little nozzle and you can spray directly onto the affected area. It's always important to follow the instructions and follow the safety precautions. Always spray these on a windless day and preferably sunny. The sunny it is, the quicker the chemical is taken up into the plants and used to then disrupt the cell patterns, which means that the plants will die quicker. Meaning selective, it will kill the broad leaves, which are normally the weeds that we find in our lawns, and leave the narrow-leafed plant, which is normally what our lawns are. Broad-leafed weeds, as they suggest, are found within lawns and can become real pests, which is why these selective herbicides are very effective in the home garden. It's very important when applying any of these chemicals to follow the instructions. They will give you a certain amount of the concentrate diluted into water and that must be applied over a certain square meterage. Using more of the concentrate over a smaller area does not mean you're going to kill the weeds quicker. It simply means that you might kill the lawn as well. Selective herbicides literally are effective within seven to 10 days. The weeds will start shriveling up and dying and they would literally compost themselves into the lawn so it's no need to physically remove them. They will frizzle up, turn into the soil and they will not affect or contaminate the soil that your existing lawn is in. So if it is over a large area with sparse amounts of lawn and large amounts of weeds, new lawn plugs or instant turf can simply be planted directly over the area. If you enjoyed this clip, like it, share it, and you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more gardening tips.